Okay, so hey guys, August 4th, um, this is kind of like my second video of the day, um, if you've watched my other videos, my name's Kayla, and I'm clearly a lesbian, like, clearly a lesbian, and, um, I'm kind of chronicling my experience with, um, starting the journey and deciding that I want to start a family as a single lesbian in this world so um <clears throat> my first video kind of like talked about you know the idea and, and and how i came about to making this decision or whatever and um i just wanted to share some of the antics that have happened thus far um so um i have some really good like friends that are like great support and stuff like i've had nothing but support from all the people I've talked to, and, um, you know, I guess God will put the people in your life that you need, right, and, um, I'm talking to a friend of mine, and, uh, she's basically spent the better part of, like, seven years, you know, um, trying to get pregnant, and having kids, and, you know, being a mother, and she has a lot of experience with it, um, she's had to, you know, to do a lot of research on the topic, and, um, so I figured I could probably, gain some information and some insight from her um because of her journey and kind of apply it to my experience and my situation and um you know we're just talking about all this information that she has and you know she's talking about ovulation and the cervix and like the female reproductive situation and all this information and um guys i'm literally a whole female that has walked this earth for 30 years and I had no idea what the fuck ovulation actually was or why it was important or anything about it. I have literally no clue. And I'm starting to realize, like, you know, I've, I've you know, been a parent in um, my marriage uh, that I just got a divorce from. And, I, you know, I was there from, from birth until almost three years so I've been a parent. I've I've loved a child and I've I've been um you know that figure in that child's life, but um as far as like pregnancy and like carrying a kid and like how it works and you know all this information about it, I have so much so many gaps in what I know, you know, and I'm starting to realize that. And I'm I'm happily um and wonderfully a female, but like I am not the feminine typical um woman i'm not i'm 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 a welder in the navy i do auto body and mechanic work and uh you know i do things like work with wood and I'm, i've just always been that that person and that's just what makes me happy and like i'm starting to realize how hilarious this is really gonna be like having to like i'm not scared you know, normally people are kind of nervous of the learning curve, and I'm I'm excited to learn it all, but, like, we were talking about, you know, all this, like, practical application of what this process is going to look like, and, like, guys, I, like, I understand that semen is going to be a part of this, right? Like, it's a necessary thing that's going to have to be a part of the equation, and, like, my friend is telling me about the process of, like, you know, um, there's a, t a type of syringe that, you know, you insert and try to get it close to the cervix while you're ovulating and, you, in you know, and you inject it and you have to sit with your feet up and let it soak in for, like, 30 minutes and, like, you know, you have to make sure it's to a certain temperature and kind of liquefy. Like, the... <sighs> Like, my mouth is watering because I'm nauseous right now thinking about it. Like, I'm, like, no offense to any heterosexual people in the world. But, like, it gross, grosses me out. Like, I'm just not built like that. Like, great on whoever lives, you know, like, that's their thing. But, like, the thought of semen makes me want to vomit. And the idea of it, like, like, <sighs> Like, I, I get it. It's part of the process, and I'm going to have to get over it. But, like, that's a, that's a weird thing to me. But, like, not to the rest of the world. But, like, that's part of this journey. Like, and it's so, so weird. So, like, I kind of want to document all that. Because, like, that's not the typical 
uh, situation. And I'm sure there's plenty of people like me out in the world. There's 4 billion people right in the world. Um, maybe somebody can get some kind of inspiration um, that's out there that, you know, wants to be a parent and um, either doesn't want to wait on the, the right person to, sh you know, show up or has chosen the wrong people, you know, trying to fabricate it and, and you know, s situate the the perfect family or um you know is more independent and wants um a family and and can do it by themselves or you know they're getting to a certain age and you know if they they feel like they don't want to wait anymore you know and surely that that can that might be a, a situation that occurs more than we think and you know i think there might be some power in sharing some of the stuff i'm going through um and i don't think it just applies to to like a, a lesbian or a lesbian couple or I think I think heterosexual people just the same deal with these thoughts I, I'm sure women out there I asked a guy if he was interested in donating sperm you know we had a whole conversation about it and you know he, he wasn't able to for personal reasons but that's fine that's a huge decision and it's not for everybody and there's a lot of emotion tied into it but what I got from our conversation between me and him was that he was in exactly the same place that I was. You know, he's dating a girl and she has a kid and um, she he saw some pictures of them interacting together and it just melted him and he's just in this spot where he just wants to be a dad, you know? And the military makes that hard on us because um, we have to put our lives on hold, you know, to accomplish missions or deployments or whatever. And, um, you know, like, I, I think that sharing those experiences and what makes us human, you know, is super, super important. So, I'm going to keep doing this. Um, I don't know if anybody will watch it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep putting it out there.